Hello there, I'm the base manager and welcome to Oxygen and Not Included, Season 3. We are back with some more Oni, it's time to get stressed out in space out. So, uh, instead of just yapping my mouth, how about we start a new game now? If the game allows us, that is, it's going to survival. Uh, I liked the uh, spaced out map from last time, uh, it's really nice for the... Um, Performance aspect of the game, shall we say. Uh, so now, over here, now we have the traits. Last time we didn't have those. Um, which means we can just go uh, like this a bunch of times until we get the traits that we desire. So, how about I go and I uh, mess with it a few times? Well, my friends, I have. Uh, Seen a few worlds, and uh, to be honest, this is the one with the least amount of debuffs. It's not a, a, a about getting a really good buffs, it's about getting the least amount of debuffs possible. So, uh, you know what? This is as good as we are ever going to get it. Let's just start the game and select our dupes, shall we? And here we are, in the dupe selection category. Now, uh, this time, what are we going to get? I want a researcher. And then I want a digger, and then I want a farmer. This is usually the uh, three first duplicates that I like to get myself, and uh, now it's just a matter of uh, re-rolling them until I get what I want. In Although uh, this one over here, it's looking mighty fine already. And we are back, my friends, with the uh, dupe selected. It would appear that Gossman is back, if you are coming back from Season 2. You probably know what I'm talking about, but this time Gossman is not going to uh, be a scientist. No, 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 no. She had enough space travel for one day. She said, uh, yeah, I'm going to dig as far down as I can and I'm never going to see space again. We'll see if that's true or not, Gossman, but for now, that is going to be it. Now, the colony name. This is going to be an interesting one. And what I mean by interesting is the fact that that word is complicated. For me to write, so I had to go and uh, ask my friend Google how to write that word correctly. But yeah, if you're not catching the hint, this is going to be an archaeology playthrough. But um, let's embark on this journey, and uh, well, let me say that I have a, a small treat for you. I hope you enjoy. <laughs> And here we are, my friends. We are back in the planet. Oh my god, it's been so long. But first, let's pause the game so uh, we don't waste time while we take a look at our surroundings. Okay, we only have this water. That's not good, but uh, it's workable. This carbon dioxide, it's not good. It's too close to us. I don't like that. Uh, but uh, other than that, it's pretty cool. We have plenty of sandstone to go around. Uh, a few plants to harvest, millwood, bristle blossom. We get uh, all that we need to make our early game farms. But uh, let's for a little bit. We all know that day one, the most interesting, the, not the most interesting, the most important part, uh, the most important thing to assure is a bathroom and some beds. So let's put our dupes to work and uh, hopefully they'll be able to build a bathroom and a, f a few cot beds uh, before the end of the cycle. So pretty much for now we are going to have three bathrooms, a few um, uh, what wash basins over here. Just need two of them, we don't need a lot. And then we are going to put the beds uh, right here. Uh, but uh, let's take a look at the light overlay away from the light, if at all possible. Uh, furniture, where are you? Here you are, cut beds, one, two, three, in fact we can cancel that one, there we go. Now my friends, I hope that you have enjoyed the intro for this playthrough, uh, this is the first time that I ever made a, a, an intro for any game, uh, so um, I hope that you have uh, liked it. 
Uh, for this playthrough, however, if we go into the colony summary, I would like to achieve the Cosmic Archaeology uh, Victory Scenario. In order to do that, you need to study a bunch of artifacts, both found in space and on planets. Which means that uh, space travel, as per usual, is going to be a necessity. Uh, I never mind that, I really like uh, the uh, space aspect of the, um, of the game. So, um, you know, just an excuse to make more rockets, right? Like I need an, a, an excuse for that, but uh, in any case, in any case, uh, now it's because we, uh, it's not because I love rockets, it's because we are entering the, um, uh, that uh, victory scenario thingy. So, um, yeah. Now, uh, just like uh, last season, uh, the format for these episodes are going to be um, as follows. First episode, we are going to go all the way up to cycle number 10. Second episode, cycle uh, we are going to go for 20 cycles. Episode number 3, 30 cycles. 40 cycles for episode number 4. And then 50 cycles for episode number 5. And from there on out, we do 50 cycles per episode. And um, yeah, hopefully in those 50 cycles, we'll always be able to achieve our objectives. But uh, if you are coming back from last time, you'll know that's probably not going to happen. But, um, oh well, oh, we can at least try it, right? And would you look at that, our day one objective has been achieved. But uh, before I forget, it is time for us to get the priorities set up properly. Uh, otherwise they are just going to do whatever they feel like it, and no, 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 no. Around here, you guys do what I tell you. Okay, my friends, so uh, for now we have our priorities set up. I want new duplicants to always have, uh, in fact... In fact, in fact, in fact, I almost forgot this one. And, uh, you know, I don't want you guys to cook. The chef should be ape. I, w I usually like my farmer to also be my chef early game because the farmer doesn't have too much to do after, you know, he's done farming. While the others can uh, help out in the building section of things. And uh, the ranching, ranching is obvious. You can't do ranching without the skill, so why even try it, right? Rest can just stay as a regular priority. Now, priorities, uh, I'm pretty sure they work as following. <clears throat> they work from um, left to right, and then they count the priorities, right? So first they count the uh, IS priorities. If you have, uh, let's say, uh, several things on the IS priorities, as is the case, the game will do these ones first, like attacking, life support, toggling, and then, you know, goes across the list until storing, which is the last one. And then, you know, um, obviously it uh, filters by priorities, always doing IRS priority first, and then the uh, I priority, regular priority, low priority, and lowest of priorities. So pretty much it works like in RimWorld, but uh, with arrows instead of numbers. So, day one, and Abe is already putting himself in uh, dangerous situations. Hmm, this is going to be interesting if this is going to be the case. Okay, so given that we have uh, achieved our day one objectives, it's time to start working on the day two objectives, which is uh, access to water and research. Those things are kind of important. Without access to water, your wash basins don't work, nor can you do research. So, yeah, if we could get access to wit by... Okay, that was just for me to guide myself, but okay, if you want to be like that. Uh, <laughs> So yeah, let's get this done first, and then we can set up uh, a basic elect uh, basic research plus uh, electricity production thingy uh, right here next to the printing pod. Do you uh, really? You really are going to uh, disturb the sleep of my dupes? I really, I, I usually, usually, my friends, I'm a live and let live kind of guy, but uh, this guy must die. Like right now, kill him. Kill him with pressure, this please. All right, so it's day two. Uh, objective one of the objectives is already achieved, which is the water. The next objective is the research, which is uh, right there. One research thingy. We then build the floor underneath it. Power manual generator. Battery. Bam! It's done. And would you look at that? Done and dusted. These dupes. I like these dupes. Goss Clearly, you can see the experience of a full season on Gossman. Right? This is definitely not a different Gossman at all. Uh, so, yeah, thank you, Gossman, for your um, experience. But now we have to work on the three objectives, which usually is expand plus 
farming. What I mean by expand is expand downwards uh, so that we can create a pocket where the CO2 can fall to so that we don't get uh, too affected by the CO2 just yet. And uh, farming, well, that one is pretty obvious, isn't it? So, usually the CO2 pit means a, a long ladder down plus uh, one tile to the side to make it uh, easier for the CO2 to flow to, right? Uh, by the way, which is the temperature over here? Yeah, it's getting pretty toasty down there. Uh, we shouldn't go uh, much further than this, at least in that direction. Uh, but uh, if we can create a little bit of a pocket over here, that would be nice. Oh, also, we want our generator to be uh, on a slightly higher priority than anything else, so that we can get power going while there is other tasks to be done. Now, when it comes to research, first thing to be done is... Farming, so that we can get the planter box. I was looking for you, but uh, yeah, there you are. So pretty much, f uh, it's like farming and then uh, everything else. <laughs> Doesn't really matter too much, uh, especially for now. Like uh, the basic uh, stuff like uh, plumbing, ventilation and stuff like that, it's not really super important. Uh, farming, however, like the fact that you start the game without the ability to farm is kind of critical. So uh, yeah, how about we get that go going as fast as possible? And there we go, we have learned the ancient ability to mine, to, not to mine, to farm. Incredible that these dupes can build uh, electrical thingies, but they cannot farm. It's something that they must learn. That's fine, little dupe. You already have, po you already possess this knowledge now, so uh, we can forget about that. Now, next in line in the research tech tree is, is like, in my opinion, of course, it's whatever. Okay, like, uh, yeah, sh we can do plumbing or ventilation because we know we are going to need these things. We just don't need them critically right now. So, uh, yeah, if you, like, uh, feel keen to do research, do it. Otherwise, there is plenty of tasks to be done. We need to see how far... Oh, nice, we already found the supply teleporter. Pretty cool. But uh, we need to see how far the uh, safe biome extends. Uh, that is the... Um, uh, thing that tells us how big our base is going to be, so uh, it's kind of nice to know those things. For example, I noticed that uh, there is a um, a little bit of a branch over here. I'm pretty sure we are going to use this part as uh, water storage, but uh, still, like I said, we need to see uh, pretty much all of the initial biome. And it's the beginning of day three. Our guys already have their tasks. As I said previously, the three objectives is to expand and farming. We already know how to farm. I'm going to create a second floor over here where we are going to put a few farmer plots. Uh, where are they? Uh, probably... Over here, no? No. In food, dum dum. So, yeah, please build me a few of those. We are going to need more, but I'm just waiting on the oxalite to uh, evaporate. And uh, afterwards, what we can do is continue on expanding. Like I said, we really need to know where everything is. But uh, most importantly, we need to start thinking about on how we are going to need, uh, deal with the CO2 and our oxygen situation. Right now, we have space for the CO2 to uh, fall to, and we have Oxalite to provide us with oxygen. However, this is not going to last. In fact, this is, like, as you can see, that, that tile over there disappeared pretty quickly, which means we have to start thinking about uh, producing our own oxygen, which usually means uh, electrolyzers, to, not electrolyzers, oxygen diffusers to start with, and uh, the CO2 thingy, the carbon scheming... Um, uh, carbon, carbon skimmer is still a little bit far away when it comes to uh, the tech tree, uh, but uh, we can get get there pretty quick. Uh, all we need is plumbing, uh, and where are you? Where is the carbon skimmer? Hmm. It's right there, decontamination, but uh, we're going to need the advanced science for that. Uh, it's not, once again, it's not difficult, so I think this is the way that we are going to go. We are going to get plumbing, and then we are going to get uh, doo -doo 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 -doo, science level 2, or advanced science. And afterwards, we are going to go straight into decontamination, so that we can get that carbon skimmer working as fast as possible. Now, my friends, while the uh, cycle elapses and our dupes get going with their tasks, allow me to please just address a few things. Now, 
on this third season of Oxygen Not Included, I'm going to try uh, a few extra things to make the uh, episodes of a higher quality. I've been experimenting with uh, thumbnails for quite a while, making you know better better uh, thumbnails. I tried to make an intro for this uh, series. Um, I'm also going to. Um, make a few things like um, from episode 2 on onwards I'm going to start the episode on a different fashion um, showing um, <clears throat> almost a preview of the episode right uh, just uh, like 10 seconds and then we have the intro and then we have the uh, episode itself but um, one thing that I would like to ask you is uh, cr constructive criticism my friends um, <clears throat> I understand that uh, there is a lot of uh, people that get defensive when they get criticized, but uh, when it comes in my personal uh, viewpoint, um, constructive criticism is always welcome, uh, and uh, please feel free to address any issues, as long as you are not uh, uh, too rude about it, I will definitely appreciate it. Now, my friends, I'm purposely not doing a li uh, research, at least until the end of this cycle, uh, so that uh, Nicola I believe it's Nikola, yeah. So that uh, Tesla over here can uh, help out with the uh, remaining tasks that we have. Uh, we still need to explore a little bit more. This bi oh, this is a weird interaction between biomes. But okay, I suppose I will have to deal with it. Um, so that we can uh, still explore and get everything that we need done. We don't have a lot of uh, millwood seeds, unfortunately. We only have three or four. So uh, this is not going to be uh, filled up just yet, but hey, the, s the, f the sooner we can get uh, the um, uh, millwood going, the sooner we have our own uh, food. So, uh, yeah. And we have a new printing thingy. Now, I find amazing that we get a, a chance for a new dupe before these guys get a, a skill point. But, uh, well, that's it. Let's see if we get... Oh, boy. The... Ran over here. Mm, very interesting. Just, just give me a moment while I take a look at uh, our selection. Now, my friends, I think I'm going to take Ren. You uh, should be careful when you are so stretched for resources in the early game. Resources being oxygen and uh, CO2 uh, cleaning capabilities, shall we say. Uh, by adding an additional dupe, you are going to stretch uh, those systems a little bit more. But um, yeah, I'm going to take Ren in, however, I'm just going to do it tomorrow, as this cycle is almost up, uh, and I don't want Ren consuming uh, any food. Uh, the second the bell rings, Ren is going to be printed into the colony. And cycle 4 is upon us, my friends. This is the cycle that uh, we are going to start running out of Oxalite, as we can see it's uh, almost uh, out. In, uh, we, we got lucky that we got uh, these extra tiles over here, but uh, yeah. Oxygen and uh, carbon dioxide should be something for us to concern today. But in any case, let's print Ren. Ren, welcome to the colony! You are the first toop to have a skill point, even though you are not the first toop to arrive in the colony. That's fine. That's totally, totally fine, my friend. You are the first to get an at. Now, let's select other types of research. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo, what do we need? It is this thing, right? So we need to uh, research those two things first, and then we get the advanced science. Oh, wow, finally! I can see the bottom of the... Um... Oh, boy, <laughs> we have found so much stuff already. Jesus, there is a natural gas vent over here. I am, like, 200% sure. Okay, I'm going to say 99% sure, so I leave myself a 1% to fail. Uh, that sometimes happens. And we have found the teleporter. So many uh, POIs being discovered, shall we say. Now, uh, let's think. What should we start working on first? Now that we have pretty much unlocked the entire biome, I think I'm going to start working on our bedroom, as it is kind of important, but I was waiting for the oxalite to go away. Um, oh, wait. I almost forget. I almost forgot, I meant. Uh, Ren is going to need a bed, so... Um, you know what? Ren, how about you start to construct the construction of your own bed? Yeah, I would like to create our bedroom somewhere around here, but we have the oxalite on the way, which, you know... I'll, I like to uh, wait for uh, that kind of stuff to run out on its own. Um, when you might... I'm pretty sure uh, this is not the case for oxalite. 
But uh, when you mine resources, you lose half of the resource, right? In here we have 900 kilograms of sandstone. If we mine it, we get 450 kilograms of sandstone in uh, item form. However, I'm pretty sure that doesn't apply to oxalite. I'm still, I'm like 70% sure. <laughs> But this time is not 99. 70% sure that you get the entirety of the oxalite. But because I can't be 100% sure, I'm going to leave it be. And I'm going to let it dissolve on its own so that we get the maximum oxygen out of it as possible. Uh, for reals game? Wow. I'm afraid, guys. I am truly afraid of the things that are yet to come. Because the game is giving us everything. Like... Really? There must be a setback. Not really. I, 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 can't, I can't believe these things. Well, oh well, I'm not going to complain. Who am I to complain about the good stuff the game is giving me? Um, like, I noticed there is a plentitude of materials on this initial biome. Usually I don't get this lucky with the... Uh, uh, copper. There is a bunch of copper nodes, uh, which is really good. Copper runs out super quickly and... Uh, you don't want to run out of copper until you have other things, trust me. Uh, things can get complicated. However, our base is not going to be that tall. We are going to have our water supply over here, and then we are going to have a few floors of space. Uh, this area is going to be a little bit longer, which means we might be able to squeeze four rooms in here. But I'm still uh, uncertain. This time we are not going to do uh, like uh, last time. We are not going to, to build a... Um, uh, apart a luxury apartment, however, I'm still going to build individual apartments for every single dupe. Each dupe is going to be entitled to a uh, bathroom and a bedroom of their own, but uh, no elevator this time, that was a little bit over, over the board. Now, I was yapping my mouth so much that I forgot about the uh, day 4 objective, which was oxygen, but, uh, well, that's, that's fine, I suppose they can set it up next cycle. Uh, it's almost ready anyway, so it's not going to be uh, something that is going to be a problem. And there you go! The day 4 objective completed! Alright, day 5. Now, you might be wondering, what is day 5 objective? Well, day 5 objective is get stuff done, pretty much. <laughs> now it's to the point that we uh, start working on the uh, Pretty much the basics. Uh, we need rooms, we need the pretty much everything, really. We need to get the research going, uh, we need to get a few rooms going as well, so they get the morale bonuses uh, out of that. And, uh, well, the second that we can start creating uh, more advanced systems, like the carbon skimming system, uh, we should do so. But uh, until we get there, we need to do some more research. Okay, so I'm thinking about making the bedroom over here, my friends, uh, or at least somewhere around here. I should be careful not to dig out too much, uh, because every time you dig out you create a tile of a vacuum. As you can see in here, the atmosphere is uh, very thin, and uh, you know, that tile of vacuum needs to be filled up with uh, something, so uh, unless you have proper oxygen production, uh, that is going to make so that the uh, CO2 levels uh, rise up as the air gets uh, thinner and uh, that might be a problem as your dupes are, uh, you know, sleeping. Uh, they might not be able to escape the CO2 cloud coming for them. So yeah, this is going to be as far as I'm going to expand for now, at least until I have, uh, you know, a more pressurized environment. Now, my friends, when it comes to rooms, uh, they have some requirements. The barracks, which is going to be the first room that we are going to build, has a maximum size of 64 tiles, which I believe is this size right here. Uh, no, 64 tiles is this. It means we want to seal it off right there. Uh, we probably are going to build another door so that the dupes can uh, pass through. But uh, yeah. This is going to be our barracks, we can even put another cot over there, each barracks can hold eight, eight dupes. Uh, so, unless you make it uh, so that uh, you are not wasting this space, but I like to put some paintings over there. Uh, you know, to make it look a little bit neater, uh, they, uh, they, they don't need to sleep like animals in a, in a hole, in a ugly, dirty hole, right? Now, the next room that would be uh, fantastic would be the mess hall. The mess hall gives a bunch of bonus. You have the mess hall and the great hall. We want the great hall. Gives uh, six morale bonuses. Uh, you need to have um, a recreational building. That recreational building is, I'm pretty certain, the water cooler. 
Well, you don't need to have this uh, particular building, right? But uh, the early game one that you have access to is the water cooler. So, uh, there we go. This is not going to be a, a huge mess hall because we can't expand too much this way. Uh, in fact, the more I look at it, the more I realize we can't expand at all. Uh, so, yeah. This is going to be as uh, big as it's ever going to get. But uh, for now, it's going to do just fine. Oh, wait. Ah, forgot about, about one thing. Because, uh, you see, your your dupes, they can actually, you know, make batteries from uh, genetic knowledge. But uh, chairs and and, 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 uh, and and tables, yeah, like, that's super complicated. I don't know why I changed the research, I'm a dummy. Well, I didn't change the research, there was no none going. We already have the advanced research, uh, which means we can technically get the carbon skimmer but we still need to build the advanced research station the supercomputer and uh, because that is going to take a little bit of time let's just uh, unlock the uh, ancient knowledge of applying fire to our food cracking eggs and uh, making tables because that's clearly extremely complicated and nicola just got a skill point fantastic my friends fantastic uh, they get they need to start getting their uh, um, skills are rolling otherwise we won't be able to mine through a few things uh, like this i'm talking to you gosman please hurry up well my friends d6 is just rolling in i'm going to deconstruct these cuts i'm going to start reorganizing a few things over here uh, we are going to get rid of this passage to the pitcher pump uh, in fact this pitcher pump is going to say bye bye really soon uh, we should once i get uh, the gosman going uh, with our skill points uh, I'm going to hollow out this entire area and uh, we are going to drop uh, this water in uh, and this water we have actually three pockets of water uh, the game was um, not super generous but uh, this is uh, this is an acceptable amount of water it will allow us to get to the point that we uh, uh, get the ability to start converting polluted water and salt water and any other kinds of water into clean water again so uh, I'm pretty sure we'll be fine but now like I said we need a supercomputer uh, to get the um, advanced research going so let's build one of those we'll just make sure that uh, this looks better once we uh, have proper electrical systems for now it is it is what it is I'm also going to make a composter because soon enough we'll have to clean these outhouses and that polluted dirt needs somewhere to go all right, here we go. Gossman finally are digging. Get a net. Ape. Farming. You get a net. Everybody has a net now. Pretty cool. So we have the supercomputer, which means we can get the carbon skimming thingy. Wait a minute. It's right there. Decontamination. Uh, please get that going. Uh, let's see. Uh, usually, let me think. If I'm going to have my water uh, collection over here our water storage i mean we'll probably cut it somewhere around here making it flat and this is where the carbon skimming system is going to sit at uh, so yeah we need to evacuate this water first which means hollowing this thing out all right my friends day seven uh by the end of today i would like to get this thing com completely hollowed out and uh if at all possible have the uh insulated tiles unlocked these ones they are kind of important as this is going to be a, a part of our base which is going to be exposed to the outside uh, unlike these internal walls uh, i always like to get the edges of my base uh, made out of insulated tiles for you know obvious reasons uh, usually sometimes accidents happen and we don't want uh, that heat or cold to be um, Acting the dupes inside of the base that don't have an Atmos suit. And uh, let's take a look at the blueprints over here. Uh, this time the dupes are not as interesting, so... Uh, you know what? Welcome, Matlink. Uh, we are going to need as m a few of you in a little bit. Our base is growing and uh, we have more things available to our dupes now. Now everybody has a chair where to sit at and have uh, some... Uh, dinner. Now, unfortunately, this didn't get exactly done, but uh, we're getting there. We're getting there. We still need to get those insulated tiles anyway, so uh, we can afford the waiting a little bit. Uh, but still, uh, please get this done um, 
relatively quickly. Otherwise, we won't be able to do our carbon skimming system over there now, can we? Now, over here, we have our mess hall. Still not a, uh, a great hall, but uh, that only means we're missing something, which is a decor item. I think we can do that. Do we have... Um and no, we have zero decor items. We still have to research uh, vase, vase thingy. Let's go over here. It's this one. Yeah. Yes. You know. Once again, putting some dirt inside of a vase is very complicated. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. Okay. So now that we have the insulated tiles, I think I'm going to uh, wait a second. That is an abyssalite piece. No, it's not. Okay. Just for a moment, uh, because we can't uh, deconstruct a Visalite just yet, so uh, that work order would be uh, staying in there forever, and that would not be ideal. But uh, in any case, um, we are going to start building uh, our water tank right here, and I think we are going to take it as far as this line over here. Then we take it up. And yeah, we just deal with the Abyssalite once we have the ability to do so. Other than that, it's pretty cool. We also will want to build a uh, secondary wall outside, make it uh, double thick. Hmm, so yeah. On this side we probably will have to build on the inside, but uh, on the bottom we'll have to build from the ins uh, outside once we already have uh, atmo suits and whatnot. Uh, like I said, a natural gas vent over there. Uh, we now know for certain. Uh, interesting position, uh, really close to our base. Hopefully the heat from it will not uh, be a problem. For now, because it's uh, overpressurized, it's not going to emit any more gas. But uh, this thing can get up to the 150 degrees, so it can get pretty toasty. So, yeah. We'll have to uh, pay, pay close, at close attention uh, to it uh, once we get uh, to the point that we can explore it. Okay, so hopefully today final cycle of this episode, we'll be able to at least get this done. Uh, if we don't, there will always be next time, right? Uh, but uh, we are pretty close, we are pretty close. We'll soon be able to start uh, uh, to pop these uh, water bubbles and watch them flow into our water tank. Uh, these three bubbles will be able to be popped uh, just by uh, mining a tile, but this one we'll have to pipe it, uh, as this is not exactly the convenient, a convenient location for it. Uh, it would fill our entire base with just a bunch of water, and we don't want that. Yeah, we are not even close to getting uh, this thing done. Well, we are getting closer, but we are not close, right? Uh, now, before I forget, so that future me uh, doesn't forget either, I'm going to build our ration box over here. reason for that is because the carbon dioxide will help keep the food fresh for longer. I got just got this notification that uh, reminded me of uh, doing that as mill lice uh, as a uh, expiration date, shall we say. Oops, that's not what I meant to do, but okay. I meant to select the mill lice. As we can see, it's only 77% fresh, and that freshness is going to keep going down because it's unrefrigerated. Uh, not that this is going to refrigerate the mill lice, but it's going to put it in a sterile environment, which is going to slow down uh, the uh, decay a little bit. And there we go, my friends. Cycle number nine is coming to a close. Uh, our dupes are now going to do their post-labor time routine. Going to the bathroom, having some chow, and then some rest. They deserve it. They are being really good dupes. Uh, they got us on a pretty good point. We are, um, you know, we already have uh, all the research that we need to get uh, the carbon skimming thingy going. We have our water tank almost done will soon be able to uh, start exploring outside of our comfort zone, uh, especially because I think the game was pretty nice to us and it gave us a way to get into a ice biome without going through a slime biome, which is pretty neat. Uh, but uh, I'm going to leave all of that for future me uh, to do. And uh, with all of this said, my friends, I hope that you have enjoyed this episode. And... Um, Please give me some feedback on how can I improve uh, this series. And, uh, well, I'm pretty sure that uh, all the um, likes and the comments will help out uh, to expose uh, this series to other people. So uh, if you could uh, do that, I would be greatly appreciated. But uh, with 
that said, this is the base manager signing out. Mm. Bye bye.